I found you, I found somebody who cares. When I found you, found my most intimate prayer. When I found you, I found whatever every heart dreams of.
and is there for not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, discreetly, ever, adversely, soberly, and in the fear of God. If any man can show just cuss, just cause, why they too may not be lawfully joined together, they will speak now or hereafter forever hold their peace. Mark, to me, I hear no voices, but I require and charge you both that you will answer at the dreadful day of judgment when the secrets of all hearts shall be disclosed. That if either of you know any reason why you may not be lawfully joined together in matrimony, you do now confess it, for be well assured that if any persons are joined together, other than as God's words us allow, their marriage is not lawful. Mark, I would ask you a question. And at the end of the question, if you agree, reply, I will. Mark Anthony Cunningham, when you have this woman, Tamika Nicole Jordan, to be thy wedded wife, to live together after God's holy ordinance in the holy state of matrimony, when you love her, comfort, honor, and keep her in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, keep only unto her as long as you both shall live? I will. <laughs> well, well. Tamika, I'm going to ask you the same question and you answer accordingly. Tamika Nicole Jordan, will you have this man, Mark Anthony Cunningham, to be thy wedded husband, to live together after God's holy ordinance in the holy state of matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health? Forsaking all others, keeping only to him as long as you both shall live. Amen. Amen. Who giveth this woman to be married to this man? I do. Amen. Mark, please take to me this hand in your right hand and repeat after me as you speak to your bride. I, Mark Anthony Cunningham. <laughs> Take thee, Tamika Nicole Jordan, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to continue to love and to cherish. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto I pledge you my all. And thereto I pledge you my all. Amen. To me you now, you would take Mark's hand in your right hand. And repeat after me as you speak to your room. I, to me and Nicole Jordan. Sorry. I, to me and Nicole Jordan. Take thee, Mark Anthony Cunningham. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To continue to love and to cherish. To continue to love and to cherish. Till death do us part. To death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto I pledge thee my all. And thereto I pledge thee my all. Amen, amen. amen. At this time, the bride and groom would like to exchange personal vows to one another. Sorry, we will now have the ring ceremony after now that the bride and groom has committed themselves to one another. Can I please have the ring from the groom to the bride? Let us pray. Most heavenly gracious Father God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for Mark and Tamika. And we thank you to Heavenly Father God for the ring that Mark will place upon her finger. For this finger, the Heavenly Father, that she's placed it in on God. This is not a noose. This is not a, 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 a hook. But this is to show to the world the woman that he loves. So that she can let everyone know that she is the wife of Mark Cunningham. So bless he who gives it, God, and bless she who receives it. 
that they will wear this, she will wear this ring to your honor and to your glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, we do pray. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Mark, would you please repeat after me as you place this ring on her finger? With this ring, I be wed. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Can now have the ring from the bride to the groom. Let us pray. Most heavenly gracious Father, again we come to you, God, asking that you might bless this couple. For God, as we look at this ring, we see that this ring is a perfect circle. So we pray, God, that this marriage will be perfect. We pray, God, that you will bless she who gives it and he who receives it. That as he wears it, God, all the world will know, God, that he is the husband of Tamika. So we pray, God, you might bless them, keep them, and be with them. In the mighty name of Jesus, we do pray. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Tamika, will you please repeat after me as you place this ring on his finger. With this ring, with this ring I, be wed. I be wed. In the name of the Father. In the name in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. Amen, 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 amen. Amen. Let's have another word of prayer. Most heavenly gracious Father, again, we thank you for this couple. We pray your blessings upon them, watch over them, keep them, and strengthen them as they continue to move forward. In the name of Jesus, we do pray. Thank God. Amen. 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 At this time, the couple has agreed. Ooh, that guy's a smart person. <laughs> ah, amen. The Bible says, to whom God is joined together, let no man put asunder. For as much as Mark and Tamika have consented to be joined together in holy matrimony on this day, be it the exchanging of vows, the exchanging of rings, and yet to be formed, performed the sand, the sand ceremony. Whereas we have counseled one another with each other that they are prepared for this day. Whereas these acts have been witnessed before God and before all of you. I pronounce that they are man and wife in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. Let us all say amen. amen. You may say your bride. And then this time we'll ask that the wedding party could be seated. Mark and Tamika will now celebrate their union with the symbolic sand ceremony. As you may remember, the mothers of each of them placed a vase of sand on the counter. These vases represent their birth, their life, their learning, their education, their heritage, their forefathers, their foremothers who came before them. And as God would have them today, the two of them stand together. And as they pour the sand into the days, amen, there we go, amen. They're so happy, amen. They are committed to no more standing as Mark as an island, nor Tamika as an island, but they are building a new and a stronger foundation. As many of us know, sand is used to make bricks. So if we take the sand of Mark, the sand of Tamika, the clay of Christ, the limestone of God, and the oil of the Holy Ghost, we will have a firm foundation. This foundation will support them in their love as they grow and change together. Amen. 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 Each of you comes to this relationship with new strengths, vulnerabilities, and histories. As individuals, you are powerful, but now that you all have come together, blended together, you are more powerful than man will ever know. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Mr. and Mrs. Cunningham also desire to celebrate their union by participating in Holy Communion. And at this time, leading the ceremony will be Reverend Owen McCoy, the pastor of the New St. John Baptist Church of Philadelphia. Yeah. 
When the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was here on this earth, he had two commands. One was baptism and the other was holy communion. You know that Jesus Christ gave his life for the church, his bride. That when we have communion, blessings upon communion. And again, oh Father, we praise you and we thank you for this bread and we thank you for this wine. We pray that you change it from a natural to a spiritual use. Help them to realize the significance of it, that the bread represents the body of Jesus Christ and the grape juice his blood. For it's in the name of Jesus we pray and our hearts say amen. Amen. Don't 
doubt God for a minute when things, because you're two different people, even though God has joined you together. But don't ever for a minute doubt whether this is of God, because it is of God. So keep praying together. Make it a business to pray together, because mark you the head. You have to keep what God going in your home. When your children come, teach them to pray. Teach them biblical principles so that they will grow up in the fear and the admonition of the Lord and your legacy will be one of a family that stands for God. I'm going to stop and I'm going to pray. Mark is going to come and, Pastor Mark is going to come and pray, but I bless this union and you know that I continue to pray for you and I'm excited, excited, excited. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Let's be praying. It's good to be encouraged by those who love you, amen. And at this time, we're going to now have the couple receive a blessing of empowerment and grace through Pastor Markaya of the Cornerstone Baptist Fellowship, amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, Praise the Lord everybody. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is truly the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Mark and Tamika, we are so excited for what God has in store for your life together, and that the best is yet to come, and that your latter will truly be greater than your former days. And so there's an admonishment that comes out of Job chapter 22, and we're going to start at verse 21. It says, submit to God and you will have peace. Then things will go well for you. Listen to his instructions and store them in your heart. If you return to the Almighty, you will be restored. So it says, clean your life up. If you give up your lust for money and throw away precious gold into the river, the Almighty himself will be your treasure. He will be your precious silver. And then it says, then you will take delight in the Almighty and you will look up to God. You will pray to Him and He will hear you. And you will fulfill your vows to Him. Then it says this in chapter and verse 28. It says, you will succeed in whatever you choose to do. And the light will shine on the road ahead of you. If people are in trouble, and you say, help them, God will save them, not just you by yourself. God is going to help you do these. And it says, even sinners will be rescued. They will be rescued because your hands are pure. And so the blessing of the Lord make is rich and addeth no sorrow. And this is truly God's blessing. The Bible says, he that finds a wife, finds a good thing, and obtains a favor from the Lord. And so your favor has arisen, and your good thing is here. And the things that you struggle with in your past, the things that seem that would not come together, they're going to come together because the scripture says, then you will succeed and things will go well for you. And it says if you pray to him, he will hear you. And so it doesn't matter before we pray to family, before we turn to friends, before we turn to even sometimes pastors, pray and talk to God. If you talk to him, he's going to hear you. He's going to answer your prayers. Sometimes as a husband, trying to figure out how to balance different things, sometimes we don't know which way to go. But if you listen for the still, quiet voice of the Holy Spirit, he will lead, direct, and guide you. And so Father, in the name of Jesus, we speak blessings of increase, blessings of peace, blessings of favor, oh God. Father, we anoint this man and woman of God for what you have called them to do in this season. We have brought them together out of the minor channel and brought them from there. And Father, we decree your power and your anointing to call upon them. We anoint them, Lord God, to do great exploits for your name. We pray that their families will be restored as they trust you. That their marriage, Lord God, will continue to flourish as they trust you. Lord God, that their children will rise up and call them blessed as they trust you. That the street that they live on will be changed because they're taking residence there. We decree and declare the atmosphere of heaven over their life right now in the name of Jesus. We pray that infirmities and sicknesses and generational curses are broken today. We walk into a new thing in Jesus today. He said, beautiful are the feet of those that carry the gospel. And so we thank you that you have made their feet, their feet beautiful today. We thank you for strength. We thank 
thank you for wisdom. We thank you for courage, oh God. We pray in the name of Jesus that everyone that will try to speak against them will end up blessing them right now in the name of Jesus, oh God. We pray, oh God, that only good things will come out of people's mouth. For you said that you would make our enemies our footstools, oh God. So even when they're surrounded by naysayers, oh God, you would use that moment to elevate them, oh God. We decree that there will be no lack in their marriage financially. No lack in their marriage emotionally. No lack in their marriage romantically. No lack in their marriage communication-wise, oh God. That there will not be sickness will not overtake them, oh God. But they will live out these days of their lives in beauty and splendor. We thank you for your restoration. We thank you for your power. And we thank you that you have done this today because this is your will. And Father, we lift our hands to you one more time and say, let it be done. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Let's praise all in the Glory to God. At this time, I'm going to ask the wedding party to please return.
Miss Joan is putting on a necklace, so I'll start um, with. Can you have yeah, I, my, my thumb, my numb fingers is not working. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not paying attention. Would you? Oh, they need Taisha. Oh my gosh. It's not working. This a picture for us? Yes. Oh. So. Start our lives, Mark and I wanted to give you all something. Did you want a tighter? Is that what you want? No, she wanted to hook it back in. So she, so he and I wanted to just give you like a starter picture. Um, I know both of you like pictures, especially Miss Jones. She's been hanging pictures for the last few months. <laughs> Getting all her pictures out of the photo album. So we wanted to give you all a picture of our beginnings. Um, and of course, it'll be many more to come. But we just wanted to say thank you all for being so super supportive. Um, you get a new daughter. Yes. And she gets a son. Yes. You get your Tamika Nicole, and yes. she gets uh -oh. a. A Come twin, on. almost. Uh-oh, uh -oh. wait, we don't want to fall out. Huh? Okay, wait, Jesus. Okay. Yeah, you have to keep those those hooks because okay. they'll come out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Take them off. Yeah, you have to just glue them out. Okay, like we'll hold mm -hmm. them for now. Don't let them slide out. Yeah, just as long as the black is black. Yeah, yeah so thank you all for being oh, so sure. super supportive. Well, and um, we just wanted you to have that as a token of our This is nice. This is nice, um, yeah. Yeah. So thank you, sweetie pie. Which one? Oh, thank you. Thank you. you. Put it up.
see you every morning.